You didn't do anything. All summer. Please don't tell me you just sat around watching the closer and eating takeout from the Gantonis. No. Della Femina. What about all those rumors I heard about you and Nate? Mm -mm -mm. Completely untrue. They just got people off my back about being sad and then Nate could do whatever he wanted, so it worked out for both of us. You're telling me you didn't have any fun with anyone all summer? Well, there's this hot lifeguard that asked me out, but I, you know, I, I turned him down. What? Well, are you crazy? A hot lifeguard is like Kleenex. Use once and throw away. You couldn't ask for better repo. I don't think I'm ready. I, I still miss Dan sometimes. More than sometimes. All the time. The only thing lamer than dating Dan Humphrey is mourning Dan Humphrey. And the only reason you're still sitting Shiva is because you hadn't got back out there, had your summer fling. Yeah, the trip was discarded, but uh, not before teaching me some Portuguese tongue twisters. I'll see ya. James is the classiest guy I've ever met, <laughs> you know? He drinks chain martinis and he speaks six languages. And he gave me this amazing Lucari pearl choker with a gold bead clasp on it. I, I thought your dad gave you that. Who's James? Oh my god, B! <laughs> He sounds amazing. The last time we talked, um, you hadn't even met him. Oh, I know. He swept me off my feet. He's so charming. Plus, he tells the best stories. You're lying. I'm not. Your eyes are doing that thing where they don't match your mouth. I wasn't aware that robots got jealous. Did they update your software while I was away? Come on. You and I both know this guy's just a prop you bought to try to hurt me. Like I hurt you. You didn't hurt me. Well, I will admit, waiting for you in Tuscany the first few days were mildly humiliating. But when I realized you weren't gonna show, I rallied. Luckily, made a friend on the trip over. Boring Ben? My dad's ex-employee, by the way, I had him fired just for you. Well, I owe him everything. He introduced me to James. You know, I think he might be the one. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. But if you want to get to know James better, I'll bring him to dinner tonight. I hope that you like him just as much as I do. Oh, and if by that you mean I won't like him at all, then you're right. I'll see you at seven.